Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the celebration of Guilford Learning Center graduates of 2021. Give yourselves another hand. My name is Reno, and this is Pat behind me. We are the MCs for this afternoon's event. As we begin our celebration, I would like to respectfully acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the traditional and unceded territories of the Coast Salish people. We are here to celebrate the efforts and hard work of the Guilford Learning Center graduates of 2021. Welcome to GLC staff and teachers. A big welcome to parents, families, and friends who are tuning in via live stream. Um, and a big thank you to Kendrick Rutherford, our bagpiper. He's, yeah, give him a hand. He's part of our GLC alumni group. Thank you, Kendrick. At this time, I ask everyone to stand and we'll have uh, this singing of O Canada from uh, Danelle Flores. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command, with glowing hearts we see the true north strong and free from far and wide oh canada we stand on guard for thee god keep our land glorious and free Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for You may be seated. Thank you very much, Danelle. That was a beautiful rendition. Hello, everyone. Next on our program for today, our message is from the following trustees of the Surrey Board of Education. Trustee Lori Larson, Trustee Gary Timochuk, Trustee Bob Holmes, Trustee Lori McNally, Trustee Sean Wilson, Trustee Gary Tind, and Trustee Terry Allen. Congratulations, Class of 2021. Graduation is such an important milestone, and you should be proud of everything that has brought you here today, from that first day of kindergarten to your graduation ceremony today. The friends you've made, the knowledge you've gained, and the life you've lived through. Take pride in your accomplishments and celebrate. Thank you. We know this is not the celebration that you or your families had envisioned, but your grad class will be remembered for years to come. You are the grad class that showed leadership through this pandemic and showed all of us what perseverance and dedication looks like. My hope is that despite this current situation, you all find time to reflect on your achievements and take pride in your graduation. Your journey ahead is likely to overshadow the one that just ended. Your adventures will create many new, significant memories and accomplishments. I know that you will continue moving forward. It is cliche to call these times unprecedented, but what you've endured over the past year is just that. Physical distancing, no large in-person events, blended learning and relentless hand-washing are not normal circumstances for any graduating class. Years from now, looking back, you will likely forget some of the memories you've made over this past year, but I urge you to commit a feeling of pride to memory. This has been a difficult year, but you did something amazing. 
You graduated and we are all extremely proud of you. You know, life is what you make it. And now it's your turn to decide what you want to do going forward. You will face challenges. We all do. But if your time in school has taught you anything, let it be that you have the confidence, the skill, and the knowledge to work through anything that crops up on your way to the next steps in your future. While you have reached the end of your formal education with us, there is so much more to come. Your whole lives are ahead of all of you. This past year has shown all of us that each one of you are strong, resilient, and determined driven. It may not seem so today, but as you move on in life, you are going to come to appreciate the truth and all those cliches you hear about how life is a journey, not a destination. You know, my mom always said to my sister and I, your life is a book. Ensure your book has lots of interesting pages. I know you will. And you know what? The really best thing about the future is that it only comes one day at a time. All of us don't know what we really want to do until we find it. So go out there, start looking, and don't stop. And I know that you will achieve your dreams. Parents and caregivers, we sincerely thank you for your contribution to the school community and for your helping your child achieve their grade 12 graduation. Each of your students started this walk as kids, and now they're sprinting across the finish line, not as teens, but as young adults. They are stepping into adulthood with all the knowledge and guidance you have provided. This is an incredibly proud moment for you too. Thank you for everything that you have done to help your student graduate. Thank you to our school staff. Thank you for fostering a safe, caring, and inclusive environment at school. These are important elements for learning, and our staff have been there all along providing daily guidance, support, mentorship, and coaching to help our students learn, grow, and develop. This is a time for you to celebrate and take pride in your hard work in supporting these students in their journey. Congratulations, grads of 2021. I know it's been an eventful year, but no matter what else is going on in the world, this is your year. And it's the start of something exciting. From this day forward, all of you are starting out on a new path that will teach you more about yourself and about life. Muhammad Ali said, the man who views the world at 50, the same as he did at 20, has wasted 30 years of his life. Go out, make the most of your life, enjoy and appreciate the journey. And on behalf of my fellow trustees on the Surrey Board of Education, congratulations on achieving this important milestone. We wish each and every one of you much success in the future. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Congratulations and best wishes to the grad class of 2021. To all of our 2021 graduates, congratulations. Good job. Congratulations to all of our grads for 2021. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2021. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Great job. Best wishes for your very bright future. Congratulations, grads of 2021, uh, and all the very best for the future. Thank you, trustees, for your encouraging messages to our grads. Next is a greeting from the Assistant Superintendent of School District 36, Catherine Sarita. Graduating Class of 2021, it is my pleasure and honor to address you and to bring you greetings and congratulations on behalf of the Surrey School District. 
My name is Catherine Serretta, and I'm the Assistant Superintendent for the Guilford Zone of Schools. This includes North Surrey, Johnston Heights, Guilford Park, and Fraser Heights Secondary School. I'd like to start by acknowledging the shared traditional territory of the Coast Salish people on which our schools are located. Today marks a culminating moment in your lives, an ending point, but also a beginning, a destination, but also a journey, and one that you have not taken alone. You have overcome personal hurdles and challenges to be here, and you should take great pride in knowing that you have achieved this accomplishment. You are resilient and courageous and have shown that you can be leaders and an inspiration to those around you. Everyone in this moment has a story. Reflect back on your time in school and think about the caring people who made a difference in helping you to arrive here today. Parents, guardians, and family members who became your teachers, teachers and support staff who became your online supports. We look around us in this moment and are grateful for the many people in our lives who helped us to continue and succeed. We hope you continue your resilient journey by caring deeply for others and making a difference. We are so proud of you and wish you every happiness and success in the future. Congratulations. Thank you, Catherine, for your message to our graduating class of 2021. I would now like to introduce the principal of the Guilford Learning Center, Eileen Kinsella, with her address to the Guilford Learning Center graduates of 2021. Hello, nice to see you all. Um, so it's an honor to uh, be able to celebrate with you the uh, graduating class of the Guilford Learning Centre 2021. This day is uh, about you, about what you have achieved, and being able to participate with you is one of the best parts of my job. You have made my job very pleasant um, during your time at the, the Guilford Learning Center, but uh, this day is so incredibly special. So on your educational journey, this road to graduation, you have faced many challenges and your entire last year was shaped by a pandemic. You did not let this deter you, for through it all, you demonstrated courage, determination, resiliency, and perseverance. And the end result is the significant milestone of graduation. So here you are today, your day. We are a village. We are a team. And therefore, I think it's fair to say that a number of people have contributed to your success as growing responsible humans is tough work. Some of you have made us laugh. Some of you have made us stand up and cheer. Some of you have made us cry. All of you have made us proud. And my hope is that each of you are feeling justly proud of all your accomplishments. Another hope that I have is that you were rigorously cared for at the Guilford Learning Center that an adult saw a dream contained in your heart, a dream capable of being fulfilled in each of you. And when you're asked about your high school experience, I hope that you speak with fondness to some of the memories you created at GLC and that we, we, that, and that we will always be a part of your narrative. And as you reflect on your memories made, those still photos in your mind, you may be feeling a little sad knowing that your high school experience has come to a close, that change is indeed coming. But we all know that change is inevitable 
and even the most longed for change, that of high school graduation, can bring feelings of fear because what you leave behind is familiar and what you are moving toward may be unfamiliar and filled with uncertainty. But you must be comfortable in this fear. Do not let it stop you from reaching your goals. Do not let it steal your dreams. Graduation is the final step in a plan that has been many years in the making. However, your education does not end here. What feels like an end is often the beginning, and we've all heard that as one door closes, another opens. And as you move from one year to the next, from one relationship to another, from one experience to another, you are always learning. Learning is lifelong. Love the journey, not the destiny. Learn and experience all you can to be the best you can. Take charge of your future, your destiny, for it is not a matter of chance, but a matter of choice. And the choices you make are ultimately your responsibility. Someone that you are familiar with, William Shakespeare once said, it is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. Do what is right, not what is easy, and choose with no regrets. Give the best you have and live your life in such a way that all who know you will be proud of you. All of you want to do well, you want to flourish. However, chances are that you will encounter some tough times, a few stumbling blocks, make mistakes, and perhaps even fail. Please remember that failure is an event. It's a part of life. It is not fatal. The magic is that successful people do not quit. They persist, they continue, they move on. They do not let failure define them. We recognize that you are all unique and remarkable individuals and you are so full of promise and potential. And I trust that each of you has been equipped with the necessary knowledge and skills and attitude for you to successfully navigate your way through our ever-changing and diverse global community. Amongst you will be people of all professions. And as you take your place in society, we trust that we will be the better for it, that you will be a strong and positive influence on your community and on our world. Again, a familiar name, Mark Twain proclaimed that out of public schools grows the greatness of a nation. Michelle Obama wrote, our greatness comes when we appreciate each other's strengths, when we learn from each other, when we lean on each other. Grads, you are the present, you are the future. We have faith that you will rise, that you will travel long, that you will travel far, and that you will travel without prejudice. Look after one another, respect and care for one another, embrace your greatness. It has been a privilege to serve as your principal, so thank you. Thank you, Aileen, for your uplifting message and your tribute to the graduates. Um, amongst the graduating class, two students were chosen to represent the grad class as class historians. Uh, they created speeches and will now present their message to the grad class and to all of us. Uh, I would love to welcome up to Keisha Evans as the first class historian. Well guys, here we are, class of 2021 in a building, six feet apart, presumably not able to remember what people look like without a mask on. And somehow 
we still made it. Five years of twists and turns obviously did not make it any easier on any of us. We pushed through our individual complications and made it through another door of authentic success. I mean, they do say that the toughest climbs end with the greatest views, right? At least, that's what I'll be telling my therapist a few years from now when they start digging up all the repressed memories of what being a COVID grad has certainly added to my collection. Although it may seem like a terrible time, eventually we'll realize that together we have memories and stories that we can share with each other that no one else can. But hey, all jokes aside, today we end our first major chapter of life and can start a new page with open minds, high hopes, and continued success on the horizon. We would not be here without the help and support of the dedicated staff from GLC, so with the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. So congratulations to all the grads for making it through to the end of high school. With our hearts held high and our masks pulled up, class of 2021 signing off. Thank you, Takesha. That was very real. Thank you. I would like to welcome up our second class historian, Sierra Siak. Nara, do you have a Sierra speech? Thirteen years ago, at just five years old, we were introduced to a completely new experience known as school. Now since then, a lot has changed. We have gone from being children who didn't know how to spell to young adults dreaming about our near futures. As we sit here and celebrate our final year of what once seemed to be a never-ending experience that has created more memories than we can all count, we wonder what comes next. Now for some of us, that question might have a simple answer, and for others, we may still be left wondering. But one thing we do know is that throughout all of the years of school, we have accomplished so much and come so far. We finally made it. We have gone from kids who didn't know how to tie our own shoes to high school graduates. Saying goodbye to our friends and teachers, not knowing what the future holds. We have gone through all the classes that seemed impossible to finish, gone through an entire pandemic, both virtually and in class, and created more relationships with people than we have even realized. As we complete our journey at GLC, it is important to remember how we got here. While sitting here, we know we worked incredibly hard to be able to be in our capping gowns, receiving our diplomas, and walking across this stage. But we also know how lucky we are to have the help and support of our family, friends, teachers, and all other staff that have been a part of our lives during this time. Everyone has played such an important role in our journey from helping us through hard classes, getting us <clears throat> through our worst days, and giving us unconditional love and support. All of these people have made an influence on who we are today, and we thank you for that. Everybody has created different memories while being at GLC, whether that be messing around with our friends in class, learning how to play an instrument with Mike or Reno, begging Mindy to make us food, laughing and watching preschoolers across the street with Anna, cooking delicious food with Ravi, or having our turkey lunch at Christmas, along with so many more. And it breaks my heart knowing that our creating new memories at GLC is about to come to an end. Even though we may not realize it, the only reason that those memories were made possible was because of the support and help and guidance of all the teachers and staff, 
They made us feel comfortable and truly cared for us. Along with always wanting what's best for us no matter the circumstances. If we did not have the guidance and support of each and every one of you, I would have no clue where I would be today. For an extremely long time, it felt like it would be impossible to graduate. But once I came to GLC, with the help from every single person, I realized it was possible. I'm now moving on to the next chapter of my life, and I thank every single person along the, my journey for that. It is a very scary feeling not knowing what is truly next. We are going right back into the same new experience that we did 13 years ago, wondering what will happen now. But I also, I also know we'll be able to get through it and figure it out just like we always have. So as we part our separate ways, I would like to wish my fellow graduates good luck and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for each and every one of us. Thank you. That was wonderful, Sierra, thank you so much. Now we will begin the conferring of graduates, uh, also known as walking the stage. So I'd like to ask uh, first four graduates to um, come down the aisle, and uh, I think Nada is giving direction. While we're just getting set up, you guys, I'm just gonna do a quick summary of um, sort of how everything works here. So please just give me your attention for 30 seconds. We're gonna do four graduates at a time. Pat or myself will call out your name and you're going to walk up the stairs where Nada is. And you're going to, uh, you can take your mask off just before you walk the stage, okay, if you like. Um, you're gonna walk yourself to the center here in the yellow arrow and you're going to turn and face your graduating class. You're gonna take your tassel on your cap and you're gonna flip it from the right to the left and you're gonna stay there for a few seconds and smile and enjoy this moment that you've worked so hard for, okay? Enjoy your moment in the center of the stage and when Pat or myself says congratulations to you, you can walk off the stage this way and make your way over to Amy at the end. Also, um, we will be reading your graduation write-ups, okay, while you're walking and taking your moment on the stage. Okay, awesome. Let's begin. Red Acevedo. Red says, I'm grateful for the help that I got from the teachers also for them believing in me to chase my dream. Thank you for all the good memories. Congratulations, Red. <laughs> Hannah Bai. Thank you to everyone at the school who spoke with me on the hard days and encouraged me to get where I am today. I truly wouldn't be here without them, and I am forever grateful. The relationships I made here will forever be in my heart. Congratulations, Hannah. <laughs> Haley Coe. Haley says, I would like to thank the staff and my family for giving me courage and support through the past few years. I'm happy for what I have overcome, learned, and experienced with their care and support. I'm grateful that I got to attend this school and share a bond with the teachers and staff that was there with me through the journey. Congratulations, Haley. Grace and Die. Grace says, huge shout out to all the staff at GLC, 
but especially to Ravi, Anna, Pat, Mike, and Uma. The support I received from my teachers, friends, and family are of the highest quality, and it warms my heart. Grace is also the recipient of a $1,250 District Authority Award. Congratulations, Grace. Takesha Evans. Takesha says, these past few years, I had no clue what life challenge I was going to be hit with next. But look at me now. Without the help of my amazing family, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you where I'd be at right now. My life is only just beginning, and I can't wait to see all the incredible things I'm going to accomplish in the next chapter of life. One more thing, never give up. Congratulations, Takesha. Gorick Gill. <laughs> Gorick says, I would like to thank all the staff and teachers for helping me whenever I needed it. I am grateful for the support from my friends and family too for pushing me to succeed in life. I'm excited to see what life's got lined up for me after finally finishing school. Congratulations, Gorick. <laughs> Eric. Griffiths. <laughs> Eric says, wow, I actually made it. I'd like to thank my dad for always being there along the way and the wonderful teachers at this school. They've been so kind. Eric is also a recipient of a $1,250 District Authority Award. Congratulations, Eric. John Paul Gunanau. John Paul says, we know what we are, but know not what we may be. Congratulations, John Paul. Good job. Rohan Janda. <laughs> Rohan says, loyalty and hustle is worth more than diamonds and gold. To get to the top, you just have to chase that one goal. Don't stress about what someone else thinks as long as you keep it real and grind to shine. Congratulations, Rohan. Gersajan Kang. Gersajan says, I would like to thank my family, friends, and teachers for getting me through this journey. High school has been an incredible time, and all the people that have told me it's the fastest five years of your life, they were not lying. Burberry jack out, baby. Congratulations, Gersajan. Kimberly Trout. Kimberly says, to those who helped me along with my path to graduation, I thank you. I'm glad we could all attend, virtually or not, a once in a lifetime event. Kimberly is also a recipient of a $1,250 District Authority Award. Congratulations, Kimberly. Next, Taylor Lamont. <laughs> Taylor says, I would like to firstly thank my mom for her ongoing support and encouragement. I found confidence in my academic capabilities and I appreciate all the teachers and staff who have put in extra time into motivating me. My future goals include traveling and furthering my education in environmental studies or business, as I would like to help my older sister build her eco-beauty business. Congratulations, Taylor.
Blaine Loisel. Blaine says, this has been one of the only schools I've enjoyed going to and it has made an impact on my life for the better. Thank you. Congratulations, Blaine. Haley Murtag. Haley says, I would like to thank my family and the GLC staff for their support and encouragement. I, found, I have fond memories of my experiences in the student mentorship program at Historic Stewart Farm. In the future, I look forward to making lots of money in the trades and traveling the world. Congratulations, Haley. <laughs> Sam Nawelulu. <laughs> Sam says, I would like to thank God first and foremost for bringing me this life, this far in life. Secondly, I'm forever grateful to my school staff, principal, and my teachers for helping me and never giving up on me. I appreciate you all and would like to thank you all for the achievement. Thank you. Congratulations, Sam. Bradley Nolan. Bradley says, I'm grateful for having had the opportunity to participate in the District Partnership Program for Automotive Service Technician. I'm looking forward to continuing my apprenticeship. I especially would like to thank my family and all the teachers at GLC for their support, and especially Nada for all her guidance. Congratulations, Bradley, on completing the Auto Service Tech Program. All the best. Well Ethan Palamos. Ethan says, I would like to thank all the staff members of GLC, Aileen, the teachers, counselors, and all the support staff that helped me in un unimaginable ways. Thank you to my mom and dad too for their love and support throughout because I couldn't have done it without them. I plan on studying computer science at UBC. Congratulations, Ethan. Yeah. Yeah. Hiwa Palani. Hiwa says, without the support of my parents and everyone at GLC, I could not have made it through high school. Thank you for believing in me, and thank you to my mom for pushing me every day to get up and actually go to school so I could graduate. Congratulations, Hiwa. Abby Partridge. Yeah. Abby says, all I really want to say is, Mommy, I made it. I did it when I told you I couldn't, but you never stopped believing in me. And that's what got me to where I am today. Congratulations, Abby. Good job. Ranveer Fagura. Rambeer says, I would like to thank my supportive family for always being there for me through the school years. I really enjoyed my time at GLC because the teachers here were unlike any others that I've met before. They gave me that extra push that really helped me to achieve my goals for graduating in 2021. GLC has made my graduation goal a reality, so I'd like to thank all the teachers and staff. Rambeer is also a recipient of a $500 Surrey Teachers Association Award. Congratulations, Rambeer. Vedang Patel. Vedang says, wishing you all the best of luck for the future. Congratulations, Vedang. That's right. Tiana Pillip. Deanna says, despite the chaos and hardships of high school, I'm glad I can walk this stage today knowing I did something I never thought I could do. It truly brings tears to my eyes knowing I accomplished something so big. 
Five years ago, I did not even see the point of college, and in January, I'll be enrolling to become something that I never thought I could. There was always a lot of things I gave up on, and every day was a struggle to get out of bed and find purpose, but I kept doing it. Even if it took me longer, I kept going. I don't regret anything I've done because everything happens for a reason, as we're all here today sharing this special moment. I would just like to congratulate the fellow class of 2021. I hope your life is fulfilling and full of memories you can create and cherish forever. Congratulations, Tiana. <laughs> Kelly Sawchuk. <laughs> Kelly says, congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you very much to the teachers and staff of Guilford Learning Center for all the support and motivation throughout the years. I'd like to thank my family for everything. Cheers to many more great years. Congratulations, Kelly. Sierra Sayak. Sierra says, it has been a long and hard few years, but I'm so glad I was able to get through it. I've learned so many valuable lessons, and I'm beyond excited to start the next chapter in my life and become an early childhood educator. Sierra is also the recipient of a $1,250 District Authority Award, as well as a GLC bursary of $250. Congratulations, Sierra. <laughs> Balroop Singh. <laughs> Balroop says, I would love to thank everyone that supported me along the road to graduating high school. I would love to thank my parents and sisters who motivated me to complete my goal and graduate high school. I would also like to thank the incredible staff at the Guilford Learning Center, the greatest team of teachers and assistants ever assembled. I will forever cherish everyone I met at this school for the support and motivation you have given me. Thank you. Congratulations, Bell Roop. Alresh Tan. Alresh says, I would like to thank my family for their endless support in this journey and also thank my teachers for pushing me to the limits. Congra congratulations, Alresh. Adrian Vong. Adrian says, many thanks to Pat Anna, Ravi, Reno, Manny, Mark, Uma, and Nada for all the support. The staff at GLC helped me create memories that I will cherish in the years to come. I don't know what lies ahead, but I'm sure the lessons I've been taught here will prepare me for what's to come. Adrian is also a recipient of a $1,250 District Authority Award, as well as a $250 Surrey Principals and Vice Principals Award. Congratulations, Adrian. Maher Yaqob. <laughs> Maher says, I feel very privileged to be here. I would like to say thank you to my family for supporting me through this, even though I was a pain in the butt. I would like to give a special thanks to Uma for understanding and pushing me to finish my work. A big thank you to Ravi, Manny, and Reno for being a blessing as my teachers and not giving up on me. Congratulations to all the 2021 graduates. Congratulations, Maher. <laughs> Richie Jo. <laughs> Richie says, attending Guilford Learning Center has been an incredibly positive experience. I wouldn't have been able to come this far in my education if not for the endless support the teachers and staff have given me. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Congratulations, Richie. <laughs> With that, I wanna say congratulations to the Guilford Learning Center 
class of 2021. Give yourselves a hand. I'm going to pass it over to Aileen for her closing message. Okay. Well, um, I've been asked to uh, stall things. <laughs> uh, I'm not good at uh, jokes or anything like that. So I'm not good at uh, off the cuff. <laughs> but, but you can see we've got quite a lineup uh, going for, into uh, pictures. Um, so um, what I will say is uh, I hope that um, you really enjoyed your moment uh, in the light here. You absolutely um, deserved it. Um, as I started um, my speech, uh, it has been uh, my pleasure to, uh, to serve as your principal. It is, it's just, just been an honor. Um, I would like to um, thank um, Jeff and... Um, for hosting us. So Jeff's back there, so if we can give Jeff a good round of applause. Um, Jeff is uh, um, the youth minister here at uh, Peace Portal Alliance Church and just an, an awesome a human being. Even though our interaction has been very brief, um, just so kind and so accommodating, and we are ever so grateful, Jeff, to you and your team for hosting uh, the Guilford Learning Center graduating class of 2021. So thank you so much. I'd also um, like to um, acknowledge uh, the photographers. I know we have our tone out there, and I believe it's uh, near and dear. Did I get? Yes. And near and dear are um, also taking photos of uh, students when you're out on the, on the red carpet um, with your uh, family or your guests that you have here. Or if it's just, uh, just you, they'll be taking a photo. I think we'll be also um, doing a, a group photo uh, on the red carpet. And at that time, you'll be with your hats on. And then I think you'll have the opportunity as well to uh, toss your hat, hat in the air. So excitement uh, yet to come. So on that note, um, I'm going to turn it over to um, the uh, folks that have been running the show. So come, come up and, you know, sing, play the piano. <laughs> and, or just relax, guys. 